In this video, I'll show you how to create a multi-level dependent dropdown list in Google Sheets. There are a few different ways to make dependent dropdowns, but with this new method, it's super easy and you can create as many as you need. Now, let's get started. First, we need to create a dropdown list for the continent column based on the data in sheet one. Select the first cell in the continent column. Select insert and then choose dropdown. In the criteria section, choose dropdown from a range. Select data range. Now, go to sheet one, select the continents in column B. Here, we're removing the ending number so the dropdown works for the whole column. And now you can see all the filtered values right here. Click on done. Go back to your dropdown list and now you can choose any continent from the available options. For the next dropdown list, we'll need a new empty sheet. Let's call it setup one. We're going to use array formula to pull all the selected continents from the main sheet. Now, go to the main sheet and select the range in column B. Be sure to select the range from B3 to the end of column B. Let's add some extra values to see if it works. Now, you should see the new values appear right here. Next. Let's look at the filtered values that will show up in the second dropdown list. Start with the unique function, as we don't want duplicate values. Filter. Select our range here, which is the list of countries. We want the range from C5 to the end of column C. For the second condition, we want the range from B5 to the end of column B. Equal to Whatever is selected from this range right here, which is an A1. Close a parenthesis. Now we want the result to show in the first row based on the first selection. By adding the transpose function to our formula, now we want the formula to work for every new row that's added to the sheet. Let's use the biro function. and the range is column A. Comma. And lambda, open parenthesis. We can give this formula expression the name A. It's up to you. And replace this one right here with the letter A as well. Close all the parentheses. Now, all the country names are shown in the same row based on the selected continent. Let's create the second dropdown for countries. In the data menu, select data validation. Add a new rule and choose dropdown from a range. Select the data range. Go back to setup one. Then select this row here and remove the letter C. Put an equal sign in front of the reference. Now the second dropdown shows the list of countries based on the continents selected in the first dropdown. To create the third dropdown for states or provinces, we'll do the same thing. We'll also need a new sheet. Let's call it setup two. I'm also going to create a new one for the fourth dropdown. We'll use the array formula to bring in data based on the countries selected in the main sheet. Make sure you select everything from C3 all the way down column C. Now, you should see the new values appear right here. And for our filter function here, we're going to copy the formula from setup one. We need the state and province data from column D in sheet one. Change this to D. and change this one to C5C. Here you can see all the states listed according to the selected country. 
Now we can create the third dropdown by following the same steps as we did for the second one. Select dropdown from Arrange. Go back to Setup 2. And the data range is right here. Remove the letter D. Put an equal sign in front of the reference. And now you can see all the filtered values right here. Now for the fourth dropdown, we'll just repeat the same steps as before. Using the array formula, select state and province from D3 to the end of column D. Copy the formula in setup 2. And replace this to E. Replace C to D. For the fourth dropdown, we'll just repeat the same steps as before. Data validation, add rule. Drop down from a range. Select this range, remove the letter C, and add an equal sign. And there you have it, the dropdown for cities is ready. And that's it. You've now learned how to create multiple dependent dropdown lists in Google Sheets. If you found it helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more easy tutorials, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.